And once again, just for a few days before they go back down again next week. So the trend continues up to 29 at the airport. That's the new high temperature for the day. And we've hit the magic number here at the station, uh, sitting at 32 degrees and climbing. Here's a look at temperatures for your neighborhood tonight and uh, in your backyard. Yes, 30 degrees in Alliance, 29 at Guilford Lake, uh, 29 in Austin Town, and 28 over in Grove City. So by tomorrow morning, all spots will be above freezing. Uh, speaking of freezing, we had a little freeze freezing rain and sleet that just slid through here right ahead of this push of warmer air, uh, but it's long gone now and I'm just expecting some cloudy skies for the rest of the night into early tomorrow morning. Now underneath a few of these clouds, uh, you may be able to see a few breaks and a little filtered sunshine as we look to the west. Lots of clouds across Illinois and Indiana, and that's just going to continue to pivot over top of us as we go through our Saturday, but the temperatures will be warmer. So here's future tracker tomorrow morning again. All spots above freezing, and we stay that way through the day tomorrow. By the time we go into late morning, pushing 40 degrees, and by the time we hit noon, uh, upper 40s into the afternoon and near 50 in a few spots, especially uh, down across Columbiana County. Now, later tomorrow evening into tomorrow night, there is a small risk for some showers to develop. Uh, temperatures are going to dip into the upper 30s tomorrow night, and the threat of rain will get heavier towards Sunday morning. So a little bit of a soggy start to your Sunday with some showers around early. We'll get a little break through midday and then the temperatures start falling again after we climb into the mid 40s and by late afternoon and evening. Here come the snow showers and are looking for snow showers on into your Sunday evening and Sunday night. This is going to be a big storm that develops to our east. We'll be right on the western fringe of it and that's going to produce some wind and blowing snow here at home Sunday night into Monday. One will be watching through the weekend. Uh, join Alex George tomorrow morning and of course Matt Jones tomorrow evening having an update on that storm as we get on through the weekend because it's one to watch. 27 tonight, mostly cloudy uh, for the rest of the night. Uh, those showers moving out of here. Tomorrow, 47, your high temperature. Small chance for a shower late tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening, but a better chance for those rain showers tomorrow night towards Sunday morning. A mid 40s on Sunday and then falling. The best chance of rain Sunday early, then the chance of rain or snow showers into the afternoon to snow showers Sunday night and blustery through Monday morning. Those snow showers sticking around to get your work week started. 33, your high temperature Monday, and then into the low 40s on Tuesday, a little break between storm systems, and then we cool right back down with the chance of snow showers around next Wednesday and Thursday before we start a warm up again. <laughs> late next week into next weekend. I know we've been talking about, but we really haven't had a prolonged period of cold air, have Not we? Not for the entire like winter. Ten we, days or two No, I, I don't or... think we've had ten days. I mean, we may have had five or six back in January yeah. there, that little snap we had, but that's about it. And it just doesn't look like it's going to happen, at least to this point. We're getting out of winter here. No, I'm pretty close. <laughs> so, yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's, 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 you know, that's right. No, you're right, Paul. That's right. All right, thanks. thanks.